there's no more fundamental challenge to, to humans, to our planet, uh, than climate change. So at Colorado State University, located in a semi-arid environment, we're really taking that challenge and developing innovative ways by investing in people, in programs, and in places where we can take what we know about the tools you need to be climate smart ag and put those in our toolkit. You know, at Colorado State University, we've always been interested in having a safe, a secure, and a sustainable food supply. Now, we're extending that concept and thinking about how to be climate smart in agriculture and develop regenerative agricultural systems. So what does regenerative mean to us? It really means about adding to. So we don't just want to have a sustainable soil, we want to have a regenerated soil, one that's healthier, one that has more biodiversity, one that has a, a, a microbiome that's healthy and adaptive. The kinds of plant systems that enable us to improve the quality of the soil and improve the quality of people and, uh, and the animals that are part of that. So really thinking in a systems approach, that's what regenerative agriculture means to us. And it goes beyond just the biological pieces, um, but also includes how we think about people, building the capacity in people, making sure that we can make communities be healthy and sustainable themselves and regenerative themselves, uh, and look, thinking about it always through an equity lens. The concept of regenerative agriculture is one that has its basis in soil science and, and the science of water and water resources. Uh, in, in plant physiology and, and how, how we grow things and in animal sciences. We're really thinking about can we take an ecological perspective of the system and can we take the tools from each of those individual disciplines and combine them in a systems approach so that we better serve uh, the communities and the peoples and the animals and plants and the ecology that's, that's all around us. So the microbiome uh, is the community of microorganisms that lives everywhere, um, in the soil, on our skin, in our bodies. So in the plant and the animal world, in agriculture, we really haven't tapped the importance of the microbiome in those, in those environments. In the microbiome, I would argue that CSU is probably one, number one in the nation and, and approaching number one in the world because we've accumulated a community of people who are doing research at lots of uh, different scales. Microbes in soil systems actually produce greenhouse gases. And so we're talking about CO2 and methane and, and basically components that contribute to global climate change. Another area would be the agricultural microbiome. And I think this is a really exciting area. Um, and it's this idea of can we harness microorganisms in the soil to actually give beneficial value to crop systems. So at CSU, um, we believe animal agriculture is a part, an important part of our global food system. And through the Sustainable Livestock Systems Collaborative, we really want to innovate ways um, that livestock can continue to meet environmental, social, and economic um, sustainability attributes for Colorado, the nation, and the world. And we're really proud to stand by our livestock producers and to help, you know, really, I think, define um, what sustainability looks like moving forward and to help really meet the challenges um, that we're going to see in the future. Colorado State University has long been a hub of some of the most innovative research in soil science and in particular around the science of soil carbon. Colorado State University recently launched the Soil Carbon Solutions Center. This center is designed to bring together all the players from farmers to scientists to the companies that develop inputs and um, help, help people manage their soils. By bringing those stakeholders together, we can link advanced science to solutions and help it implement those solutions across hundreds of thousands of acres. And if we're successful, we'll help enable new practices for farmers to adopt that are economically viable that helps solve climate change. RAMS is an acronym for Regenerative Agricultural Management Systems, a program that will be hosted by the Agricultural Experiment Station. We have uh, nine research centers across the state. We'll be opening up a new one down in Denver at the Spur Campus. And the RAMS program is really about taking these regenerative practices and putting them, putting them in place. 
And the nice thing about Colorado is we have broad biogeographical areas, and the RAM system is, is a really, in a sense, a controlled experiment across the entire state. Where we'll be looking at new practices, not only in crop production, but in livestock production, in water management. We think it's a real opportunity for us to re-engage our stakeholders, to incorporate new technologies. In those hubs of activity, we'll be able to co-create knowledge, ask great questions with the people that are actually doing agriculture, being able to apply some scientific concepts and measure the improvements that are taking place, and most importantly, then be able to translate those, scale those, and hand those off to others so we can have the positive impacts we need in climate smart agriculture. You know, the SPUR campus is such an exciting endeavor for us, and it's part of a larger project at the National Western Center uh, in the northern part of, of Denver, Colorado. That's one of the cool things about Colorado. It's really this frothy environment of innovation that's taking place in food, in agriculture, in water, and in health. So that's what the SPUR campus is, is really a nexus of scientists working with the public and doing demonstration and answering questions about what is agriculture and where do we need to go. We'll be able to first tell the story of regenerative agriculture to millions of people who will be visiting that SPUR campus and demonstrating what it can be to live regeneratively in an urban landscape, addressing issues of food production, food safety, and food accessibility. My vision for the SPUR campus is all about urban agriculture. To me, regenerative agriculture must include an urban element. If we want to feed our populations in a way that is sustainable and returns not just to the land but also to society, we have to use those spaces that are available in urban places. Rooftops are just one example. My specialty is on green roofs, so I grow plants on top of buildings. Most people laugh when I say that. And to me, that is an incredible place to be able to secure our food security in the future. In urban agriculture, we absolutely have to look at vacant lots, we have to look at open spaces, and we even have to take it out of the soil entirely and look at controlled environment agriculture or growing food indoors under light. Colorado State University is a land-grant university, and it was really formed around this idea that there exists between education and its citizens and stakeholders, there's a social contract about taking new knowledge, answering questions with that knowledge, being able to build the capacity of people so that they can ask the next set of questions. So how do you build people's capacity? You know, part of that is, is maybe a traditional thought about what takes place in the, in the classroom, but we also believe that learning by doing is so important when it comes to developing new concepts and building out people. So that's a set of experiences, whether that be in a research lab or that be on the ground working with, with producers. The way that I'm looking at approaching climate smart agriculture is trying to think of what do we need to do to not only make our systems more resilient, but also to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels in agricultural systems. CSU has provided me with uh, many opportunities to work with world-renowned researchers. Uh, CSU is also has some programs that I've been able to be part of, like the School of Global Environmental Sustainability has a year-long fellowship program um, which trained uh, me and other fellows to learn how to communicate our science to a broader audience or to tailor a message to specific audiences. CSU has been my beloved home for almost six years now and um, I, I came here as a visiting intern and now I'm a PhD. I think the CSU, it's not only like the physical space, right? It's amazing the infrastructures that we have, but also by bringing people from all over the world, it will help us and help us to have perspective, not only from US, but from different countries, right? Um, they are having different problems than us. Our students have the opportunity to engage in really impactful research, real world extension, and to learn through doing. We're now developing a sustainable agriculture major to enable students to really gain expertise in how all the pieces of agricultural systems fit together. We can make a real difference. We can make a real difference in a world that has a changing climate, a difference that'll, that'll lead across generations. But one of the things that's important is, is now's the time for us to step up. 
And at Colorado State University, we're doing that, making those investments in regenerative agriculture as it applies to a resilient climate, thinking about how we can demonstrate practices in places that make a difference, thinking about the programs where we'll invest in co-creating knowledge so that we can do that as well. And most importantly, most importantly, adding to the capacity of people so that we'll be able to ensure that future generations enjoy what we have.